Greetings and salutations, you guys. Here and here, welcome to a live sale this Tuesday, February 7, 2023. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm super excited. Um, we have two, actually, we have two unboxings today uh, before we start the live sale, and I can't wait to open them up with you. They've been, like, sitting in my room since yesterday. I was going to do a live yesterday, but I have always, like, is it, like, too impromptu? So I was like, I'm just going to schedule it for Tuesday. So we're doing the unboxing today, and I'm super, duper excited about it. Uh, but let's see who's in here. Hi, West Coast gal. There's Ed, Boots, Lori. Hi, everyone. Taco Tuesday. Oh, I thought you said Taco Tuesday, but you said Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, that actually sounds really delicious. I would love some tacos right now. Hello, Vadrian says hi as well. I'm just gonna wait for people to trickle in. I'm actually like, oh, it's 11 11, make a wish. <gasps> Yay, okay. As I close my eyes and make a wish, like it's a birthday wish. I have my coffee, so I'm pretty happy. It's nice and warm still. My hands are freezing. It's really cold today for some reason. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Edie. How are you feeling? Hi, Tofo. I have, like, my phone, like, right here. So I can see all my notifications, all my cousins texting me. She's going to come over, so I'm pretty excited. But she's not coming over till. Um, this weekend. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Tara. Hi, Odelia. Oh, Edie, I'm sorry to hear that. Anita, Tara, hello. Oh, today I have such a super cute giveaway. Um, so if you guys can help me think of a question too, that would be perfect. But I have this uh, Hello Kitty chip clip. It's so cute. It's also magnetic too. So you can like put it against the fridge or something. But isn't it so cute? Um, I also got myself one of these. I, we had one of these growing up when we were like little. And... Yeah, it's, like, a core memory for me that we used to have, like, one of these chip clips when we were small. And I remember when we bought it, there used to be... A, it was back when we used to live in New York. And it was really random that we had a San Rio store near our house because we lived in, like, a tiny town. We didn't have, like, anything. Uh, and we would walk to... Um, it was, like, right next to, like, the Blockbuster and where we rented our movies. And right next to it was the San Rio store. And we, <laughs> I remember we bought this clip. And my little sister, like, my sister was, like, tiny. And, yeah, it was good times. I remember, too, like, my sister had this, like, a matching hair clip also. And then I was like, Mom, we have to get this, like, chip clip. Because it looks like a giant hair clip in Yasmin's hair. So, yeah. Chip clip. To keep my <laughs> boots. I was, like, too lazy to get, like, one of those. I was just like, I'm just going to do, like, a regular... I drink it too fast anyway. Odelia. Oh my gosh, Odelia, that's so cute. I loved, uh, I loved Hello Kitty growing up, too. My favorite characters were Kuropi, uh, Peckle, and Batsmaru. And Batsmaru was, like, kind of newish. And then, like, when he came out, I was, like, so excited. I was like, that is me. I am a penguin. Hi, Hannah. Oh, Jay Sweet. I'm so happy to hear you like your bags. Yay! 
So I have like all this stuff like all around me and everything is just like falling over. <laughs> Awful. Oh, Anne, I'm real glad. Yay. Yes. I can't wait for you to get your stuff. All right, let's see the goodies. Um, again, help me think of a question for the giveaway. I'm going to do this one first. Um, this is actually from one of you guys. Um, Squishy, if you're here. I, I didn't see your name pop up yet. But Squishy actually helped me get these. Uh, they DM'd me on Discord. Or was it Instagram? I forgot. I think it was Discord. And she w told me that these were available near her. And she was able to pick these up for me, so I am very, very excited. And they just came uh, yesterday, and I am... I, I cannot wait to open this. I'm so excited. This is, um... I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Pokemon Squishmallows, but they have taken the world by storm. And they have only released two thus far, Pikachu and Gengar. And in my hot little hands, I have a box of some Squishmallows. And I have been trying to get these, like, I, I try to get them during the release, restock, whatever. They are never available in my area, and I, I'm never fast enough to get them online. I'm still trying to get the Gengar, but here it is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I hope I'm angling this, okay. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh! It's the Squish! Oh no, they're so cute! Ugh. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, Squishy, you did such a good job packaging. This is amazing. <laughs> I love that you put, like, padding in it, and they're, like, super soft, like, stuffed animals. It's, like, literally, like, you're amazing. Oh my gosh, they are so so cute. I am dead. <gasps> There's two of them! Oh, I love them. They're so squishy. Uh. Oh, Lady Badger! Yes! I'm really excited. Oh, also, for people that are doing the Palantine's gift exchange... Um, I'm going to leave you guys a question in our Discord section because I want to know what day and time is best for you guys to do the unboxings because I want to do it like last time where I have you guys join me live and we can do it because it was super duper fun. So, um, yeah, I'm going to ask you guys in the Discord group though or you guys can just like leave a message there and let me know what times would be best, like daytime, nighttime. I was thinking the 16th, but I think that's like a Thursday. Day. like so I was thinking maybe like we can do Saturday like this that Saturday or Friday or Saturday after Valentine's Day maybe at night like a little bit like later on in the day so that way people are like out of school and work and stuff but thank you so much squishy for getting me these squishies ah I love them I'm super excited they're gonna be my little guest hosts for the rest of the live they're just gonna be sitting behind me Okay, Hannah, I'm really excited to see what you're making. You're so talented. Like, seriously. February 16th. Okay, Lady Badger. Like, I, sh I, sh I should do, like, maybe 4 or 6 p.m. Pacific time, probably. So that way, like, it's not, like, in the morning and people are out of work and stuff. I'm trying to grab the other box. It's kind of heavy. Ah. Okay. Ugh. And this is the one. Oh, thank you, Anne. Yeah, I'm looking for two, but probably three of the Gengar ones. Um, but this is the Loewe box, and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, let me try to cut open the tape on the bottom. I like check, like I try to check like every night and then like when I wake up in the morning to see if I can 
get the Poke Pokemon Squish like online. And they're like always unavailable. I don't know how people are getting them online. But people keep saying that there are like restocks and stuff and I see them ordering. I follow like a Squishmallow group on Instagram. And I'm like, I'm so slow. I don't know how they do it. It's just like the people that are able to get like um, those really great bags on the Hermes website. So... Okay, Lady Badger, we'll do it a little bit later if that's okay with you guys. Well, we'll talk about it in the Discord. Okay. Did I get it? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> Christ, dude, you came right at the right time. Also, do you see my Squishmallows? I got Pikachu. Thank you again, Squishy. Okay. I got the box! I'm so excited! Oh my gosh! Okay. These are... Okay, this is the receipt, I think. Yeah, these are the little receipts. And then... Oh! I wrote myself a card. Because <laughs> I was like, I want like some of the stationery. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm cracking up. I put, because you're worth it, <laughs> on my card. It's so cute. And it comes on this little stationery. Then you also get the little card, which is so cool. And you get the little envelope, which is perfect. Oh my gosh, Hannah, I am. Because I went to the, like, when I went to the store, they didn't, Give me one of these cool boxes. Is that everything that's in here? Okay, there's the box. And there's that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cool. Oh, thank you, Edie. <laughs> And I think that's it. There's like nothing else inside the box. It's just uh, the packaging stuff. Put that over there. Okay, you guys ready to see the bag? Oh my gosh, Edie. I don't even think I can cut it. I think I'm just gonna have to like leave it like this. And put probably like put it like on a shelf or something. I'm like trying to think of where I'm gonna put it in my room. But let's open it up. <gasps> okay. Here she is. The inside is just like all like black. Oh, this is so cool. Where am I gonna put this? Okay. It didn't come with a bag or anything. I'm kind of sad because I wanted another bag, but it's okay. It would have been cool to get one of those like larger um, shopping bags, which have been going for sale crazy, like, on eBay and stuff. Like, depending on the size of the bag, it's, like, between 60 and and $100 just for the shopping bag, which is nuts. But I should have known that because that's what happened last time with the Totoro bags and the uh, Spirited Away bags. But... It literally smells like a new car inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for this? I'm trying to grab it by the handle. We're all gonna see this together. And I, you're, I think it will, because mine got a box when I bought it at the store. <gasps> oh no! It is so cute! Oh, and it, sm it smells like a new car. Mmm. But this is the small calcifer puzzle bag in orange. This one was a web exclusive. 
So I didn't get to see it at the store when I went to it. But, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I love that too, like, uh, the different puzzles with Calcifer, they all have different faces. So, like, all their faces are, like, depending on which bag you get, or a color or size, the sh like, the face is a little different. So, also, this is, uh, for size reference, this is the mini, and then this is the small. Oh, I really love the orange. The color is so good. Only 11 puzzle bags. I should have, I should do like, um, I should do, what's it called? Uh, like a thing where I ask you guys how many puzzle bags you guys think I have and whoever is right will get a prize. But here she is. Oh, I love, I love, I love it. I love the way that they do the, like, the leather work on here, too. Because these are all, like, separate pieces of leather that they, like, inlay into the bag and create the design. So it's really cool. Like, the red piece, this is, like, one whole piece of leather. Um, the ombre middle piece is another piece. The white and then black are each separate pieces, and the mouth is a separate piece, and they're all just, like, inlaid, and then, like, some of them are, like, stitched, so it's really, really cool. And, like, the craftsmanship that is needed to do this is amazing. I also like that the little fire goes all the way up to the top flap. And then this size has the back pocket which I love. I love this little back pocket to put in my wallet. And it has like all the little tags. Let's look at, the, oh, here's the strap inside. Oh, this is the new straps. Like the new straps look like this too. The older straps are different. Do I have a strap near me? No, but these are the newer straps that just look like a regular strap the older ones um had like a different shape to them like they were thicker in the middle oh so cute hold on we're gonna have to put this bag on in just a second and this has gold hardware I was kind of hoping for some of the, lo like, the Spirited Away stickers, but no such luck. We have the little Loewe booklet, and then the little Howl's Moving Castle booklet as well. And then I love, like, the little pictures in the inside. Some of these prints they used on the gift bags. And then some are actual prints on handbags. Like this was on the a tote bag. Um, this was the shopping bag I wanted. This shopping bag would have been so cool to have. That was my favorite one. This one is the shopping bag that I have with the with the Witch of the Waste on it. And this was on the box. And I think they also made this into like a like a button-up shirt. So that's kind of what was inside there. Yeah, no other stickers or anything. And there's the inside. And it just has a, it has like a special little Studio Ghibli tag on there with Totoro on it. It's so cute. There's just one pocket in the inside. Oh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed. I am so, so, so happy. <gasps> ah! There we go. There's Calcifer. I can't believe I have two Calcifer puzzle bags. This is like a dream come true.
Hi, Kathleen. And you can get that shopping bag for her. Oh my gosh, yeah, $220 on eBay is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited though. This is so cute. Hold on, let me make sure I don't squish anything when I try this on. Okay. And then this is how it looks on. It's such a cute size too. This is a really great size, a size small, for people that are looking at getting their first puzzle bag. I feel like the size small is probably pretty perfect because it will fit like a full-size wallet. It'll fit your phone. It actually fits a ton. And they do get squishier over time, so they kind of become like less boxy. But, uh, I kind of like the boxy look. I don't have too many puzzles that's, that I have in my collection that stay this shape. But the larger, like if you get larger than the size small, they will kind of collapse in quicker and faster. Um, the smaller the bag is, the less likely it is to do that. But it's so cute. I'm so excited. Should I put Heen on it? I feel like Heen looks better on the orange puzzle than on the black one. But then now I feel like this little one's going to get lonely because he like, he's like by himself. I need another charm. I really need that... Not need, but probably need. <laughs> the, um, what's it called? Turnip head charm would be so cute. Ah, his little feet are so cute. Look at that. Little heen. And then, there you go. <gasps> so fun. I'm so obsessed. Oh, also, I got a new bracelet. And it matches. Yes. It's almost, it's like a millimeter away from cutting off my circulation, but it fits, so I'm very excited. But um, I got a, a little Hermes bracelet. Um, I did a video for it, like in a haul that's coming up. It might be tomorrow's video. But yeah, I got this super cute Hermes bracelet. It's like leather and then it's just like metal up top and it's so cute and it matches Calcifer perfectly. So I am very excited. We're twins. But that is... Right, Hannah? I think he needs to be on the orange one. I need the turnip head for the black one. I need to get another charm. I'm obsessed with um, Loewe charms, in case you guys are wondering. There's actually a leather, um, there's a grasshopper pin charm that I really want. And there's also a dragonfly. And I think they also make a butterfly, but the butterfly kind of looks like the dragonfly. And I kind of want to get one of those if I can't get another one of the Howl's Moving Castle charms or something. But, <gasps> hi, Don. <laughs> I need it. I know, Han. And you already know. You know how it is. Oh, my gosh. But it's just so cute. Okay, that's it. Here, I'll show you guys them together again. Ah. Oh, I saw. I think I saw that when you posted it, uh, Hannah. The peach one. But here they are. My little calcifers. I don't think I've ever been so excited in my life. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, Edie. <laughs> $53. But here we go. Again, size comparison of the two. So good. Let me grab a mini. Or the Nano. I kind of wish they did a Nano bag, but it would be probably pretty hard to do, like, one of these designs on such a small bag. But here are the different sizes. So cute. I love this size, but really, 
it's slightly impractical, but it's still so cute. And if you can ever get your hands on one of these, I would still say yes, because it's awesome. You just can't fit, like, your phone in it, but, I mean, it actually is a good size. You can still fit, like, a good amount of stuff in it. But these are, well, this one is it, but there you go. And, oh my gosh, if I could, that would be amazing. I'm just going to put that one on there for good measure. What can you fit in the black one? Yes, uh, Don, the black one. Actually, let me show you what's inside here. So, I think I, wait, did I do it before? I really only have, like, two things inside of here, though. And I actually have... I could probably fit my, I could fit my AirPods in it, but I have my AirPods on this little thing right here. But I only have my wallet inside of here, and then I have this other monstrosity inside of here too, and I just attach it to the side because I thought it looked really cute with a chain coming out. But these are the only, oh, and I have my, I have keys inside of here too. But I just have those three things inside. But like sunglasses will fit inside of here also. And if you had like a slim case, you can put that inside here. But sunglasses will fit for sure. And I don't, this won't fit like a full size wallet though. Like a three quarter wallet would probably be the largest that would fit inside of here. But you can definitely fit snacks inside. I don't have any snacks right now because I ate them all. But it's actually a pretty good size. You can fit a lot inside the mini. And the small can get pretty heavy because it does fit a lot. So if you put a lot of things inside, it can get pretty heavy. But that is what fits inside my little black puzzle bag. And of course, all of that and more will fit inside the orange one, so. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. A snack bag. A three <laughs> and... Only in this... <laughs> this is my grocery bag. Which also has calcifer in it. So it's super cute. I, I don't know why I have so much stuff inside of here. I should do like a what's in my bag for this thing one day. Because I just have this thing stuck so full. I have a problem. Like literally, I am just crazy. With bags. <laughs> Kirsten, oh man, I wish I had some more of those protein bars. I ate them all. I don't have any more left. I used to have like a box full of them. Oh no, Edie. Taking a bag worth. <laughs> I take those bags with me to the Goodwill. So, I mean... Where else am I going to take them to? I don't really go anywhere else other than thrifting and the grocery store and the post office. I really don't go anywhere else. It's pretty sad. Those mini dip. <gasps> Ooh! You know, my dad loves those. I never... I've, I don't think I've ever tried them because whenever... Uh, my mom gets them for my dad. They're, like, gone in, like, a second. Those are his favorite. He loves dates. Oh, I, if also, um, could you guys help me think of a question? Actually, let's do, um, if you were a handbag, what style handbag 
would you be and why? That's our question for today. If you were a handbag, what kind of handbag would you be and why? I would probably be like a satchel and it would probably be a puzzle because I'm like short and stout. <laughs> <laughs> okay so leave your answer in the comments of this video i'm gonna link it for you guys let's see come on let's go ew my photo never updated on this video it's okay all right here is the link Oh, Kirsten, yes. That is me. <laughs> That's actually a really good question to ask. Okay, so there's the link for the giveaway. And then... Where is this thing going? Oh no, I already used all of them again. Oh no, it's right there. Today is the... I can't believe it's already the, se the seventh. That is crazy. The time is going by so quickly. And, okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to get my notes in order really quickly. <laughs> that day that I showed you guys how um, my Excel spreadsheet looks when I was doing that live with V, I was like, ah, my spreadsheet's showing. But I do love a good spreadsheet, you know? It's the years and those biology labs making spreadsheets and graphs and all that craziness. Okay, I think we're ready. Oh no, Edie, you're fine. Don't have to apologize for that. And thank you so much, Jazz. All right, well, let's get started. <gasps> Tara, happy birthday to your husband. That's exciting. Tomorrow is his birthday. John's birthday is um, in like two weeks. And then my mom's birthday is that same week at the end of the week. Uh, I think her birthday is on a Saturday. And then a week after that is my birthday. So literally all our birthdays are about like a week apart. So... <laughs> Marisol, you should buy him a handbag as a gift. A gift for him to give to you. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, I think Christina texted me. Let's see what she said. I love that um, my cousin and I text on Instagram instead of like regular texting. Not me trying to make plans with her right now. Okay. She's coming on Friday. So I was like, yeah, when you get here, we can go thrifting and then we can go get boba. It's going to be so much fun. Okay. If you are buying someone a gift, it's best to buy one that you would like. <laughs> Hannah, that's like totally like my, like my mom's reasoning when she gets me gifts. Because... She, like, she got me, <laughs> uh, for, like, for Christmas, she got me this, um, it's, like, a cooler on wheels, 
and it's like a vintage looking cooler for like when we have parties so then we can just like roll it out and have like the drinks and it has like you can put the ice in it and then it has like a little thing where you can empty out the water after the ice melts and it's literally so perfect and she's like i got you this for christmas and i was like thanks i love it we always like other than handbags we always get each other stuff that like we like need for like the house yeah my birthday is on march 1st west coast so you have a good memory <gasps> hipatia you're shopping hi hipatia oh vadrian says we should get you um the info for your package once we find like a box that can fit everything really well inside so we'll let you know asap he just doesn't know it yet, but then rice is coming up. <gasps> oh my gosh, Tara. So many memorable moments coming up. Okay, um, so that was our unboxing. That was so much fun. I love unboxing stuff with you guys. I just I, I just always want to do unboxing with you guys. Um also just um I may film a set like a video just unboxing everything again so there's just like a video like that because not that many people watch like the lives after they've already happened so um i think i'm gonna film a video unboxing all the lua Bay stuff so yeah <laughs> just know that i already unboxed it with you guys first <laughs> but i'm just gonna film another video um like an official video opening everything and i think i might do it on tiktok too because i need to start putting stuff on tiktok Why is everyone texting me right now? I'm popular. Popular. I know about popular. Okay. Um, do I have anything else coming that I can unbox you guys soon? Probably not. I haven't ordered anything recently. Wait, no, I lied. I think something is coming, but it's just a little thing. So I'll unbox that with you guys when that comes. All right, let's get started, though, because I'm pretty excited. Get them to... Oh, yeah, if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, can you guys please follow me on TikTok? That'd be amazing. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers on TikTok so I can go live, and um, that would be so fun. I want to go live thrifting with you guys on there. <laughs> oh, dear, yeah. All right, let's get started. Aren't you always? <laughs> I don't know about that, <laughs> West Coast gal. You've clicked add to cart. And stop. <laughs> Other than Amazon packages. My favorite button on um, Amazon, though, is buy now best okay well let's get started with our sale today and in honor of valentine's day which is coming up i have this really cute blouse it's like a polo shirt hold on me do up the buttons but this is a super duper cute burberry polo shirt and this is in a size medium. Uh, yeah, women's medium. It's actually like a pretty good size. My mom is really sad because she loves this shirt. It unfortunately does not fit her. But this is a woman's Burberry polo shirt. It's gray with black hearts. So chic for Valentine's Day. It has gunmetal um, but colored buttons on there as well and it's in great shape this is our gray and black hearts burberry polo shirt size medium and this one's gonna be how much Adrian? oh marjorie i'm glad to hear that what did you say Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $85, and that's going to be 
item number one our polo heart shirt our polo our Burberry polo heart shirt all right up next go to number two but yeah it's adorbs Um, uh, let's do oh, one over there. Thank you for the great packaging. Oh, Marjorie, Vedran says you're welcome. They're glad that you like everything. Okay, this is our next item. This is a Henry Bendel convertible backpack, and it's in this navy blue nylon and navy Safiano trim with light gold hardware. So this is the convertible backpack. You can wear this as a backpack. You could also turn the straps into a crossbody strap, and there's like little D-rings on the top that you can attach straps to. So it's so fantastic that you can do that. It has a front pocket and then these two large side zipper pockets as well. This top portion, this is just purely decorative. Kind of looks like a Birkin backpack, right? And I love that it has like this little piece right here too. So you can close together to attach the handles closed. And the interior is in a beautiful royal purple color on the inside. There's a zipper pocket and... Two open po uh, zipper pocket and then two open pockets in the interior. <gasps> oh, Hypatia! I know which one you're talking about. I've been looking at um those like heart Lee Razuel bags. They're so cute. I'm so sad. Like I think it was like a year ago when I missed out on one that someone was selling for like a hundred dollars. That was so cheap. Here she is, super duper cute, and then like on the back, looks like that. It's such a cute backpack. It's perfect for every day, school, travel. Actually, this is perfect for travel because you can carry it so many different ways. Top handle, tote, shoulder bag, backpack, and then it just packs away nice and flat, and it's not like super heavy or anything. So this is our navy blue nylon and Safiano Leather uh, Henry Bendel Convertible Backpack with light gold hardware. And this bag is in really great shape. It's nice and clean inside and out. The leather is in good shape as well. Um, the corners look good. There's no like hold or like rubbing or anything. Yeah, it's in great shape. And this one we're gonna do for we're gonna do this one for um we'll keep it under a hundred ninety five dollars. J Sweet, I didn't put it up yet, <laughs> but just let me make sure. Like, if you want it though, just make sure to let me know. I just have to make sure that you guys um don't call items until I put the price up. But uh, looks like Liliana called that one. I'm sorry, J Sweet, I didn't put the price up yet when you called it. Well, congratulations, Liliana. This one is going to you. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Up next, you got item number three. Hi, sister of a down. Okay, let's put this one over here. <clears throat> Our next item, this one is so cute, and it's perfect for spring and summer coming up. I think it's such a cute bag. This is a rag and bone tote, like, satchel. Super cute. It's in, like, this, uh, like, taupey tan woven, uh, it's, like, almost like a rope. I don't know, it's really cool, like, a woven fabric. The corners are in a brown suede, and then the handles are just in a regular smooth leather. 
Hi, Pauline. And yeah, it's in really great shape. There's the bottom. There's no feet or anything on it. But it has um, a magnetic snap up at the top. And then there's just one interior zipper pocket. And I think it also has the little card inside. Yeah, it has little cards inside. This bag is in pretty much like new condition. I was able to like brush up the sides and they look fantastic and clean uh and it also does have like light gold hardware i don't know if you can really see it but these like little studs are just a light gold so you can wear it as a top handle this actually does fit on your shoulder as well so you can carry it like that and then it has the longer strap which isn't adjustable or removable but if you wanted it you can tuck this strap into the interior of the bag but this can be worn on your shoulder or can be a crossbody as well. It just sits a little bit higher up, but that's gonna be like the length of it if you wear it as a crossbody. It'll like sit like that. Um, and this one is how much, Phaedrine? This is our. And suede. Yeah. And suede rug and bone. Um satchel with light gold hardware and this one is going to be $140 and that's going to be item number three for our rag and bone bag I think the retail on this one was like over 400 if memory serves it was something like that I looked it up the other day um but it's sold out so that one's item number three but it's so cute, like, I love it. This is actually a really good, like, farmer's market bag for sure. You can put your um, produce inside of here. It's really cute. Love it. I love a good, like, woven bag. Let me move these down because I haven't shown these yet. I'm gonna forget. Okay, up next, <gasps> I have another dress. Um. Mom is sad because it doesn't quite fit her, but this is a brand new with tags, um, a red Valentino dress, and it's super cute. It just, like, looks like this up top, and then it has, like, a little bit of a peplum at the bottom. It's just, like, above the knee. And it's in a red and white polka dot. Super fun. This is a size large. Um, I forgot what it said exactly inside. Yeah, it's a size 44. Um, it fits like a large, um, like a large, almost extra large. Because mom's like an extra large usually when in these like sorts of dresses. And it like doesn't quite fit. Like it does fit, but then it's like too tight to be comfortable. So um, definitely just like a regular large. I think this is meant to be like a little bit loosier, I guess. But this is a great Valentine's Day. Hi, Cindy dress. And yeah, it's just so fun and flirty. Um, just with the cute cardigan too, since it is a little bit cooler right now. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Um, oh, Liliana, that is so sweet of you. Jay Sweet, um, Liliana says you can have that one if you would still like it. That, uh, the Henry Bendel backpack. So, just let me know and then we'll switch it over to you. But thank you so much for doing that, Liliana. That's very kind. Okay, so this is item number four. Four, I think. Yes, four. So this is our red Valentino. Um, red and white polka dot dress. Size 44. And this one... What are we going to do this one for, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this one for just $95. This is brand new with tags. The retail on this was like probably around $700. And it is brand new. 
and it's beautiful. It zips in the back. And it's just like a poly blend dress. And that's item number four. A red Valentino dress. Oh, it is lined too. It has like a lining underneath. Okay, J Sweet, it's going to you then. Thank you again, Liliana. Okay, J Sweet. All right, so I switched that to J Sweet. Thank you so much. And up next, number five, we have. Oh, I have some wallets. Where'd they go? Okay, I have a couple little Wally Wally wallets. Um, let's do this first. This is actually going to come as a set. So these are Harvey's seatbelt bag items. Um, this one, I think this is a sunglass case. I love this floral print too. I think it's so cute. It reminds me of the floral print that um, Rifle Paper Co. does. And that's just printed throughout. The same with this. Uh, this actually has like a little D-ring right here. So you can hook, like put a hook onto it and then hook it onto something. But it also has this little piece right here. So you can put this on a bag strap or you can put it on a belt. And then you can put cards inside of here or like your AirPods or whatever will also fit inside. So you can use it for a, a multitude of different things. And this is just like a great sunglass case. I was actually like trying it out the other day for sunglasses. And those just fit inside really nicely. So, and nice and sleek too. It's not like too puffy or big or anything. It'll fit inside your purse really nicely. Um, just looked up 44. Oh, thank you, Marisol. Hi, Deborah. Okay, so this is our Harvey's Seat Belt Duo sunglass case and uh, belt bag. I'm just going to call it belt bag um, in floral design. And then how much is it going to be for these two, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do the two of these guys for $35. They're in brand new condition. That's going to be item number five. And that's for the two. Right, Boots? I really like the print. I think it's really fun. It reminds me of um, Anthropology had like the mugs like this too. Oh, J Sweet called that one first. Congratulations, J Sweet. Item number five is going to you. That okay. Up next, we got number six. I know these. I these are so cute, though. I love these. Okay, so there's that. Um, I also do have this guy as well, and this is a little Kate Spade wristlet wallet, and this is in a like a like a light purple, and then it's like a regular purple trim. And also on the little wristlet, this has light gold hardware. There's a front zipper right here that has this little fun tassel attached to it. And then the interior has four built-in card slots. There are a couple little marks inside of there. I think they're makeup marks. I should be able to get most of them out, but just know there might be a couple little marks just in case. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're really small. Uh, other than that, though, the pouch is in great shape. The leather looks really good. And yeah little wristlet. You can attach this to a bag as well, or just like wear it around your wrist when you're on the go. And this is going to be item number six, our purple Kate Spade wristlet wallet pouch with light gold hardware and front pocket tassel. And this is how much fade for this little guy? Okay, we're going to do this one for just $25. A nice little deal for anyone interested. That's item number six for our little Kate Spade zipper pouch wallet. All right, up next, let's do number seven. Oh, Deborah called that one first. I'm sorry, Boots. Deborah, you were quick on that one. Congratulations, Deborah. Okay. 
Then we have item number seven. And let's do... I have this really cute little um, coach shoulder bag. This style is really popular right now too. These like little shoulder flat bags. This is in black, um, black monogram canvas, and then black leather trim, and that has the contrasting cream stitching. It does have the little hang tag still attached right there. The exterior is in pretty good shape. It has minimal like rubbing on the fabric, and the leather still looks really good. This sits really nicely on your shoulder too. So it looks like that. And then you open it up. There's a pocket in the back. And then the interior looks like this. There's a zipper pocket. And then there's just an open pocket underneath. So it's small but has a lot of good compartments. And actually holds a lot. You can fit a full size wallet inside of here as well. And into your cell phone too. So number seven. This is our black coach um, monogram canvas. canvas, and leather wallet, or leather shoulder bag, not wallet. And this has silver hardware. And how much is this one, Vadrian? For a little coat shoulder bag? Okay, we're gonna do this one for just $40, and that'll be item number seven for our little coat shoulder bag. Oh, Ed, I'm sorry. Item number six was already purchased. That was that purple coach wristlet. I'm sorry. Okay, but this one is item number seven, and that's our little coach shoulder bag. Oh, Boots called it. Congratulations, Boots. That's a little cutie. Congratulations. All right. Then we'll go to item number eight. Oh, I still have the Gucci scarf in the red and green. This is that vintage Gucci scarf made in Italy. This is made of um, silk. It's really big. It's a great size. It has like the butterfly motif. And then just has Gucci right here, small on the side. Super pretty. Um, this is our vintage silk made in Italy Gucci scarf in red and green with butterflies. And this was $150. And that's item number eight. So pretty. I love it. And it's really big too. You can wear wear this a lot of different ways. Okay, then number nine is next. And Okay, I have this super cute um, Kate Spade. Oh my gosh, what is happening? It is stuck onto this other bag. Come on. The strap got like stuck together. Okay, there we go. Um, this is our next item. This is a brand new with tag uh, Kate Spade lemon crossbody bag. It has like this abstract lemon print. It's a white, like white background, and then navy trim, and then the print on it. Um, the retail on this was two hundred and thirty dollars. So fun! It has a little case bay tab right there with like the metal lettering. Crossbody strap is adjustable. Such a cute bag, perfect for spring and summer. What's also nice is that there's a pocket right here. 
in the back that's nice and open. This will fit your cell phone inside. Uh, so you can just throw that back there. And then the interior um, just has one little pocket back there. And it does have the little care booklet inside. And that's it for the interior. It just has like that one pocket. Again, this one is brand new. So cute. There's the bottom. And that's the print on the back. I think the print is exactly the same on both sides. And this is number nine. Our new with tags, Kate Spade lemon bag with navy leather trim and light gold hardware. And this one is going to be how much fader for this guy? Okay, we're going to do this one for just $85. Again, this one is brand new with tags. That's item number nine. And then 10 is up next. Oh, I have the cutest little Brahmin bag. Uh, I believe this color is called Pecan maybe, or no. It might be a little darker for Pecan. I don't know, I don't remember. But this is like a brown um, crock embossed leather, what Brahmin's known for. We have our polished brass hardware as well. Um, it, there are a couple little marks on it's like light. They're like light marks, so nothing too crazy. There's no discoloration on there, though. Um, the shoulder strap is really nice. It's a great length. You can also attach... <gasps> Kathleen! Oh, that one already sold! I wish I had a lemon charm to go on it. That would have been adorable. You can also attach like another strap to this if you wanted, but this one is just... A little shoulder bag. I think you can actually... Can you pop this off? Yeah. You can pop this off and then re attach it to here. And then make it kind of like a wristlet if you wanted. Just kind of like a long wristlet. Uh, interior is in good shape. It just has the Brahmin microfiber lining inside of there. Uh, there might be some slight discoloration at the very bottom. But very minimal. And it just has one interior zipper pocket. And that just zips right across the top. Oh, Hipati Hipati, there you go. <laughs> that charm is so cute. And the corners on this are in pretty good shape. I think it's just, it's just this one corner has like some slight rubbing. The other corners are in great shape. They don't see like any marks on them. And this is what the bottom looks like. There's the back. Uh, Kirsten, yes. A curse, a cur a Kirsten. A phone does fit inside of here. Oh, let me grab my phone. And that just fits inside perfectly. So, lots of space. It actually will fit a full-size wallet inside of this little bag. So it's a good size. Vadrian's babysitting right now, and I can hear the baby, like, baby talking. And it's so cute. The baby sounds mad at you. Okay, so this is our brown crock embossed ramen shoulder bag with polished brass hardware. And this is how much for Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for just $50. Our little... Oh, Mary, I didn't show it yet. But that, like, I didn't post the price yet. So you were a little quick, but let me know if you still want it. That's item number 10 for $50. Our Brahmin. It's a great little shoulder bag. And it's really cute on the shoulder. Okay, up next, I have number 11. Ah, 11 is next. And let's do oh it's okay Marianne no worries oh I still have okay this is still available our Loewe um gate dual bag and that's in like this taupey tan color and it has the jacquard strap this one will fit your cell phone inside um, as well. 
I checked with my cell phone if it's the largest iPhone inside with the case on and the strap is adjustable it doesn't become like a super long crossbody but you can crossbody it for sure but I feel like it's like almost a little bit more of a belt bag or a shoulder bag and then the interior looks like this it does come with all the cards and the dust bag as well there's two pockets and the interior is just lined in suede and this one is in like new condition retail is like almost two thousand dollars like one thousand nine hundred or something for this guy uh and this has light gold hardware what else was i going to say about this bag i think that's it kathleen <laughs> it's okay kathleen i have plans to expand but I'm not, I mean, if, if this if this never sells, I'm not going to be sad about it because this is a great, great bag. I'm just trying to let it go before I get too attached to it. But it's so cute. Alright, so this is number 11. This is our taupe gray um, Loewe dual gauge bag with jacquard strap. And light gold hardware. New with tags and dust bag. Well, this is 1,200. That's number 11. And then number 12 is next. She's a beauty. Actually, she looks really good with a navy. All right, next up, I have this Sophie Holm bag. Oh, hold on. I wanted to clean this. Let's see if this comes off. I'm using my Kiwi cleaner on here. Well, I probably should have tried an eraser first. I feel like an eraser would have gotten these marks out, but this is coming out. I want to get some more of those erasers from Daiso for giveaways because they are so great and you guys really like them when you guys got them. I got so many messages from people that won. And the erasers are literally the best. But all the marks came off. So this is a Sophie Holm satchel, and it's in this tan-colored leather. Um, um, ooh, mom's getting pizza. My mom just texted me. Oh, Kirsten. Oh, Kirsten. Hold on a second. Um, but how cute is it? I love the hardware on these. Uh, a lot of, like, different, like, fashion brands have copied this style and I don't know like it's really really cute but like one day I just saw it pop up like at like all the um forever forever 21s and I think Zara also did a style like this and also Target but the hardware is super cute there's a little earring right here for a charm the crossbody strap also is adjustable and removable and it zips across the top Interior is unlined, so this is suede in the inside, and it just has one open pocket just back there. And this is a great size. This will fit your cell phone and wallet and all that goodness. It's a good width as well. It's almost like, I feel like it's just a little bit smaller than um, the Celine Nano, but it's such a cute little size. Like, it's so chic. The leather is super thick too so it's never going to lose its shape and it just like looks really fun on it still also has the original stickers to protect the hardware which is really nice and i would probably never take those stickers off just because this hardware can scratch it's so large and in charge and it's number 12 this is our sophie home um tan Leather satchel with light gold hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, this one is a hundred dollars for our Sophie Home number 12. 
And then for our friend Kirsten, something to tempt her with. Oh my gosh, that would be f amazing, Finding Solace. Kristen. So, we have, this is the small gate bag, I believe, is the size. And this is the tricolor. It's in tan, brown, and taupe. And this one is so good. like that. It's a great size. This will fit everything that you need. Here's the interior. It has um, like two compartments. Hold on. Oh, also it does have a back pocket. I feel like not a lot of, like you can't really tell online, but it does have a back pocket, which I never knew until I actually got my hands on this bag. And then the interior has two compartments or like two main compartments it's divided by like this leather piece and there's a pocket on the front right there um and the interior is also just all in suede so so cute this has light gold hardware there's a the bottom i love this bag i think it's beautiful And it's a really good size. Oh, yes. Let me see if it fits the phone, though. I haven't tried. Oh, and the phone fits right there like that. And you can also fit it in. Well, I guess you can't. This is kind of inconvenient. But as long as it fits like this, that's all that really matters, right? As long as it can fit like laying down like that. But yeah, cell phone does fit. I have the largest iPhone that fits inside. And this is item number 13. Oh, Kirsten, I'm so sorry. I forgot it. I totally forgot. It slipped my brain to send you pictures of that tote bag. I will, I'll actually show it right now and I'll send you photos, um, after the live as well, so that way you can see it. Um, oh, and we lost Vadrian. Okay, so this is 13. This is our small tri-color gate bag in tan, brown, and taupe with light gold hardware. Oh no, Vadrian disappeared. I love this bag. Okay, let me show you in comparison to Size comparison. Alright, Vadrian, how much is this guy? Okay. So this one... Yeah. Okay, we're doing this one for $13.50. Just a little bit more than the other one. And this is going to be thir number 13. Um, okay. That's number 13. Ah! You guys already know how much I love Blavet bags. Okay. Up next. What do I have? I don't even know what I have to top that other one. That was so good. Oh, I'll show the tote. If I can find it. Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. It's like literally right next to me. And again, Kirsten, I will send you photos of this, too, afterwards. I'll send you photos of the gate bag, too. It's so good. Here's our tote. Oh, did she? Wait, I didn't even see. I think my thing is frozen. Ah! Kirsten called it! Congratulations, Kirsten! Yay! Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I got goosebumps.
Like literal goosebumps. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Oh my gosh. You are going to love it. I am so happy that you got that bag. It's so beautiful. Congratulations, Kirsten. Yay! Oh, I'm so excited for you. You probably don't want to see this one anymore because you got that one, but I'm just going to show it anyway for anyone else that might be interested. So it has little bottom feet. This is black suede with gray leather trim on one side and it has light gold hardware. This does come with the removable little pouch. I love it, Kirsten, that's so exciting. And then this one is reversible. Turn it inside out. And the inside is in gray leather. It's super squishy. And here it is. Reversed. It has the stamping on the other on both sides and then it has little metal feet on both sides as well and the strap is long enough to carry on your shoulder I'm sorry I feel bad but oh Kirsten you're totally fine that's okay <laughs> don't even worry about it <laughs> okay but here's our tote so cute. Uh, yes, Finding Solace. This is a Saint Laurent. Stamped right there on the front. Did I show you guys the removable pouch? It does come with a little removable pouch. So you can just use the pouch by itself. Um, I think you can even... No, I don't think you can turn it into a wristlet. But you can just use it by itself. You can take it out of the... You can remove it from the bag. Super cute. The leather is like so squishy and soft on this one. It's almost like a pillow. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Kristen. Um, this is our gray leather and black suede reversible Saint Laurent tote with removable uh, pouch and gold hardware. With oh, this does come with a dust bag as well. And this one is $500. Our dust bag is right here. Okay. So that's that guy. Just put it back there. Okay. 15 is up next. Oh! I have another wallet! Um, this one also... New with tags. Little Kate Spade. I love the color on this one. It's in this really nice, like, sea foamy green color. This is also that new quilting that I am obsessed with. It's like a circle with, like, a diamond inside. Light gold hardware. Uh, there is a front pocket right there. And then on the back, it has a ton of card slots. One... One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven card slots, and then there's another bill slot right there. And this opens up up top right there. Put your change. So this is a really good size, like little mint, like little wallet, and it's nice and flat too. And it's brand new. So this is item number fifteen. <laughs> Kirsten. Well, I'm glad that I can I could provide you your Loewe bag. That actually makes me so so happy. Uh, light green, and I'm glad that it's going to a good home, and I'll be able to request visitation rights <laughs> when we go thrifting, Kirsten. You gotta bring you gotta bring your Loewe with you, okay? Uh, light green, brand new with tags, Kate Spade, small wallet with light gold hardware. And this is going to be how much we're doing for this guy. Okay, we're going to do this one for... We're going to do it for $50. Okay. 
Okay. Up next, I'm replying to John's text. Sorry. He's like, Mom's getting pizza. And I'm like, My diet. <laughs> what diet? Oh, congratulations, Don. Number 15 is going to you. Yay! That one's going to you, Don. Oh my gosh, wait, Kirsten. Luevi dreams came true in this video. Or in this live sale. I'm really excited about this. Okay. That's number 14. 14. And then for... No wait. What was number 14? Wait, that was 14, right? Did I, why did I put 15? Oh no, 14 was the reversible. Just kidding. Never mind, I was right, but also wrong. I got too caught up. Okay, this was number 14. Okay, now we're on to 16. Dawn. Oh, yeah, Dawn, that's no worries. <laughs> that's totally okay. So you, uh, instead of the red tote, you want the Kate Spade? That's totally fine. Okay, so that's... <gasps> Are you serious, Kirsten? Yay! That's so cool! Well, I am honored. I'm like doubly honored now. That's so cool. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You're gonna love it. Like, that is such a good bag. I love that bag. And 17 is up next. For 17... Oh, Vadrian, did you see that? Can you um, switch out the um, that the, the red coach from Dawn for the Kate Spade wallet? Okay. Up next, I have... This is a coach... No, Dawn, don't be sorry at all. <laughs> it's totally cool. This is a coach... Um, tote? Bag? Satchel? And it is in this blue, uh, what is this all? Camo. And then black pebbled leather. The handles are partly in like a nylon that matches the crossbody strap. And on the front, you have two large pockets. Oh, this, there's like a brochure in here. I didn't even notice. Oh my gosh, someone's boarding pass is in here. Where'd they go? I'm so nosy. Oh, they went to Phoenix. Nice. <laughs> okay, we'll throw that out. Um, two front pockets. Back zipper pocket, which is nice and huge. This bag has a lot of really... This is actually a really good travel bag. Good job, Ryan. That was the person who owned this bag originally. His name is Ryan. <laughs> On his boarding pass. That's so funny. Um, you can also, like, kind of, like, wear this like this, too. Like, you can, like, fold it over and kind of wear it as a clutch, which I think is pretty cool as well. So you can carry this bag a couple different ways. The top does zip um, all the way open and closed. There's a little hang tag right there. And then on the interior, there's a zipper pocket. It's really hard to see inside of here. There's a zipper pocket, and then... Two open pockets and then a key, or not a key, um, a little pen pocket. There's no key fob inside of here. And it's nice and clean inside, just black fabric lining. Um, this is a coach, Hypatia. So it's the coach tote. Uh, and then you can wear this as a crossbody as well with our crossbody strap. And the strap is adjustable. You can make it way longer than this. Um, and it has gunmetal colored hardware. Ooh, Marisol! Can you remind... Okay, I'm going to screenshot that so I can remember. That is a good question. 
What is the weirdest thing you ever found inside of a thrifted bag? What is the craziest thing I ever found? Um, oh, I found jewelry in bags before. That was probably like the craziest thing I found. I found some gross things like used tissues and other stuff that I don't want to say that are gross. But like the jewelry, amazing. That was crazy. Yes, uh, Finding Souls. This is a men's coach collection um, with the uh, camo print. So this is our blue camo and black leather men's coach tote bag with gunmetal hardware and fabric crossbody strap. Um, I think it was this first one. Yeah, first one. Okay, we're going to do this one for 125 For this coach. A baby tooth? <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I found tooth inside, I found teeth inside a bag too. But I think they were dog teeth or something, because they were like tiny. Which was, like, kind of scary. I was like, oh my gosh, what are these at first? I was like, wait, they look like baby dog teeth. Um, the most expensive thing I have found inside of a bag. Um, I know, I, surprisingly, I don't feel like I ever find, um, like, that much cash. Like, I feel like some people find so much cash and, like, Especially with the amount of handbags I, I buy and thrift. I don't actually find too much cash inside of them. Ooh, you know what I should do? I think this year, starting now, I know it's like a month late. But well, I don't think I found any cash in any of bags recently. But um, I think for the, like, the entire year, I'm going to collect all the change and stuff that I find inside of handbags. And then I'll put it inside a jar. And then at the end of the year, I'll do like giveaway or something on it or something i don't know like i'll like i'll do a giveaway well I'll, I'll tally up how much money is in it and then at the end of the year i'll put it like on a gift card and then i'll do a giveaway during christmas or something like that i think that'd be so cool so starting today if i find any change or whatever i'm gonna put it inside like a jar i'll find a jar to put it in i think that'd be so funny okay um uh, so that was number 17 was our coach but, like, again, I don't find too much cash inside bags. Like, when V found all of those gift cards, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I never find, like, okay, I have found gift cards, but they're always all used. They're just, like, whatever. <laughs> but cash? Actually, the most cash I ever found, I think, was $40. Right, Patreon? 40 60 Or when people find cash at like the bins inside pockets of clothing or stuff like that's crazy because I follow someone on Instagram and they found like literal hundreds of dollars at the bins inside a pocket. Kristen. <laughs> that's usually what I find too. <laughs> oh no, one time I found a dead bug inside of a bag. That was gross. But I didn't like, it wasn't a bag that I bought. I was like looking at the bag at the store and I was like, there is, like, a cockroach inside of this bag. I was like, gross. <gasps> That's awesome, Fighting Solis. That's so cool. All right. Number 18 is up next. And for 18, I have um, this pink coach, um, Ergo canvas shoulder bag. I think it's called the Ergo, right? E-R-G-O. Ergo. Um, this is in a printed... Uh, not printed. It's in a... Coach monogram fabric. So this is like a canvas fabric in pink. It's really pretty. And then all the trim is in pink leather. And this has brushed brass hardware. It's so cute. Carried on your shoulder like this. Has a little coach hang tag right there. That is true, Kirsten. 
But you don't know, there could have been babies inside of there. Cute little buckle detail right here. It is slightly adjustable as well, so you can make it shorter or longer. Um, the exterior is in pretty good shape. I was able to clean most of like the marks that were on here. I think there's just still like slight discoloration just in these two like corners, but it's honestly really hard to tell because like that's just like a natural kind of shaded area on the bag, so it kind of just looks like a shadow. Um, but the other side looks really good. It's just on that one side, um, that it has the discoloration still on it. It might be more, like, be able to be removed more, but, um, I couldn't get it out after a few passes, but, yeah. Um, interior just has a zipper pocket in the back. Ah, and then, like, a card pocket on the other side. Um, and then interior is... Uh, nice and clean. Yeah, this one doesn't have any discoloration or anything inside. And super duper cute. And trash can of wedding band. <gasps> no way, Hippot. Yeah, that is nuts. Did you find out, like, what kind of wedding band it was? Like, was it from, like, Tiffany's? This is our, um... Pink coach, ergo, uh, canvas, and pink leather with brushed brass hardware. And this is how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $80. Wait, Anne, did you get your stuff? Wait, did you get your, um, did you get your Loewe thing right now? <gasps> Anne, do you want to come live right now? Can you come live? Do you want to do an unboxing right now? Did I skip number 16? What was 16? Did I skip something again? What was it? Oh, I just skipped it? Oh, okay. I just skipped 16, but that's okay. As long as I just skip it. Hold on, Anne. I'm going to send you the link right now on Discord. Oh, you can't? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Let me send you the link. Okay. Okay, okay, well, I'll send it to you, but just, you, you don't have to show your face. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to send it to you on Discord right now. Oh my gosh, this is breaking news. This is very exciting. And where are you? Oh my gosh, and you changed your photo. I was like, where is she? Okay. I sent you the link on Discord. So, you can pop on whenever you're ready. <gasps> I'm so excited! Not me just like waiting here patiently for Anne to come on. <laughs> there she is! Oh my gosh, Anne. Hold on, where are you? I think you're muted right now, Anne. Um, okay, I'm gonna add you in. Oh, oh, there you are! Oh my gosh, there's a kitty cat. Hold on, let me edit. Let me change the... Yeah, he's uh, very nosy. He wants to know what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute! Okay, all right, you guys. Anne, I'm ready. I think we're ready. We're all ready. Okay. I already, un already like, had to... There you go. Oh, wait, hold on. Th these boxes are tough. Yeah, they are. Oh my god, I'm excited. I hope it came in a special box. Oh no, what is going on here? Technical difficulties. Hold on. I see oh, it. God. I think it is in a special box. Oh, it is! Hold on. I'm having a hard time getting this open. <laughs> oh, goodness. I see a box, yeah. Yeah, I see oh, it. it. You did get the special edition box. 
Oh, the cat's gonna have a field day with this stuff. Um. The kitty is also getting a prize today. <gasps> I got turn of head. <gasps> oh, stop! I'm so jealous. That's so cute. <laughs> all right, all right, and then I, I got gift, gift stuff. So, wait, what is? It? There's the receipt. I got like little gift card thingies with the emblem on it. Uh huh. That's cool. Oh my gosh, the box. I'm like still dead. It's so cute. <gasps> there she is. Oh, oh, he's in the box for the bag. <gasps> So cute! Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hold on, I gotta do a zoom in on the feet. It's all about the feet. So he's cute. Feet. Oh, he's so cute. All right, and his little hair. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Right? Like, the details on him are, like, so, so good. Oh, I'm gonna wear him everywhere. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You're gonna put... What are you gonna put on first? Your puzzle? Um, well, I've currently got my Louis Vuitton bag. So, I might Ooh. put him on my Louis Vuitton bag. Nice. You gotta post Look photos in the Discord when you do it. I love the feet. <laughs> Same. Oh, I love the box. The box is literally so cute. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the little booklet. Yeah. Yes. See, yeah, uh, I want that shopping bag, too. I want that bag so bad. It's so cute. The Witch of the Ways. Yeah. I guess I'll, oh man, that's so cool. Like, I like your box, but you like this box. You want to trade? No, I'm just <laughs> I need all the boxes. Yeah, no stickers or anything. That's sad. I know. I wish they came with stickers. I saw some people get stickers when they did unboxings for their stuff. So I was like, that's so cute. But it's so cute. Little turnip head. That's the best. Sorry for the glare. But... No, it's okay. On the back. Oh, he's on the back too. So cute. Yeah. Ah! Okay. I'm so excited for you. Worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. All right, now I gotta clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my unboxing. Yay! Thank you for coming on. That was so much fun. I'm so excited. Hi. You're welcome. Um, hopefully, uh, Hannah gets to take some photos of hers when she gets. I cannot home. wait because she got the little um the cookie cookie pouch. Right? Yeah, uh, I can't wait to see it. All right, well there's you gotta the you gotta post photos on the Discord when you put it on your back, okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll take a, I'll do like a whole photo shoot and everything. Yes, and for the cat. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Well, I'll keep. Um, I'll be lurking in the background. All so. right. Thanks for popping in. Yay. Yeah. All right. Adios. Bye. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun! Ah, also that's um Anne's email. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's saved from the last time she was on, but that was so much fun. And again, congratulations because that was literally so cool. I'm jelly that you got the box because I was not so lucky when I went to the store. <laughs> But also, you guys, this is the link for the giveaway. If you guys have not yet entered the giveaway, head over there. Leave your answer to the question. Today, we're giving away this Hello Kitty um, chip clip. So cute. Chip clip. All right. Um, so we are now on item number 19. Should we stop at 20? Maybe we'll stop at 20, right? So that way, Vadrian has to finish packaging and... I think my mom's going to be home any second with groceries because I think she went to Sam's Club with John. So I got to go help them un unload the car. So we got two more items for the day. And then I'll be back again Thursday evening. Um, we're going to go Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. 
And then I'll see you guys again on Saturday. So, really excited. Um, oh! So, here is our next item. This is a Jimmy Choo little crossbody bag. So, so cute. I know for sure that this bag was supposed to have, like, this chain detail along the top flap. Um, unfortunately, this, the chain was removed on this one. It used to connect right here, and it went to the side like that. Honestly, I thought, like, it would probably be kind of annoying to get into the bag when that chain is there and add extra weight, but just know that that was removed, so, it, yeah. But it has the Jimmy Choo writing right there in silver. And then here's the back. The leather kind of has, like, some, like, patina ink to it. You can see there's, like, a little bit of, like, a darker spot right there and along the bottom a little bit. Um, but the bag is super cute. When you open it up, there's just a zipper pocket inside here, and this is in a microfiber lining. It's nice and clean in the interior. And then it also does zip across the top right here. And you can get all the way into the interior of the bag. So, and all of the interior is super clean. And then the crossbody strap um, is adjustable. I think I have it at almost, not quite the longest length, but you can definitely still um, extend it a few more inches. Right now it's just at my hip. And it's just a nice, like, everyday bag. The leather is so soft. I believe this is a lambskin. And lot, lots of nice compartments. The bag is in great shape. Other than just the, um, that chain detail that was removed. It actually was like this before. It was like this chain, um, on this bag. It was kind of like this. But it was across the front right here. This is from the same collection. Um, but this one I will show you guys next time because I do need to do some color corrections on it because it does have some yellowing and it does have some stains. Um, also, Mom did use this for like a hot second. She used it for like almost a year, I think, um, on and off. But So you'll see that one soon. I just want to fix it up before. But yeah, there we go. That's this guy, number 19. And this is our tan uh, Jimmy Choo crossbody bag with silver hardware. And I believe this is like a an almost $2,000 handbag. Like these bags were crazy from this collection. They were from the biker collection. And they were super expensive. I know for sure that... Um, the, the white bag that I just showed you was, like, over $2,000. This one was probably, like, at or around, like, $2,000 for this one um, after tax. And this one we're going to do for how much, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for... I'm going to keep... Okay, let's do $275. we are going to do this one $275. And that's going to be number 19. Again, it's in really great shape. It just minus the chain, which was the part that mom like actually hated about the bag. <laughs> she was like, that chain is so annoying. But I think it's so cute, just like this. And just like a little Jimmy Choo, just right there. Okay, and then we have one more item, number 20. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, okay, this one is really cool. I was going to save it for, like, the video after, or the live after, uh, the live sale after, because I was going to show it in, like, a regular video first, but I will just show it to you guys already, so just forget that you saw it, and then just be excited again when I show it in the next, like, YouTube video. Um, but I have this super cute, this is a Balenciaga belt bag, and it's in this patent mint green colored crocodile leather. Like, it buzzed. It's not, like, actual crocodile. Um, and then it has, like, a brushed silver hardware. And it's so cute. 
It just says Balenciaga in white, just like across the top. It does have some like slight like marks. There's like a little thing right there. And then another little thing like on the corner right there. But I mean, they're not very like noticeable. Um, they're so, it's so cute though. There's a back zipper pocket right here. So for anything you want like more like easier access to, there's that back pocket right there. It, I don't think it'll fit a cell phone in that back pocket. It'll definitely fit like in the regular bag. Yeah, cell phone will not fit. Definitely just like for cards or some, I want that cat. <laughs> Does it look Tiffany blue on camera? It actually is kind of Tiffany bluish, but is it? Yeah, like it's, I feel like it's almost the Tiffany blue maybe. I'm not 100% certain. I need to get like a Tiffany box or bag or something. Oh, I had a, ba a bag somewhere. I don't know where it went. Um, and then it zips across the front. And then the interior just looks like that. It has like that Balenciaga like lining in, t in the inside. There's one interior pocket. It does come with like all the cards and stuff too from Balenciaga in the interior. And the strap is like super adjustable. You can actually like, it actually goes pretty long. But I feel like this bag you would probably mostly carry kind of like this, but you can definitely wear it around your waist as well. Um, but this is how it looks as like a body bag. And I guess I can try this around my waist because I haven't even tried it around. But other than like those like small marks I showed you, the bag is in really great shape. Oh yeah, this is like, I think it's really meant as a, like a body bag, but you can definitely still wear it around your waist, but I have it on the very last hole and then it kind of just like sits like that. My outfit does not match. Do not judge me. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute though. And I like the little chain detail on the side right there. But there she is. That is number 20, our last item for the day. This is our green croc embossed patent Balenciaga um, belt body bag with brushed silver hardware. And this one we're gonna do for 650. So, a deal. This bag, I think it's still available online. But there we go. Our Balenciaga belt bag number 20 for $6.50. And oh, Karen, thank you. I always try to find like really cool, unique pieces that are like fun and also like kind of timeless. Like this belt bag, I feel like it's so good. The color is so good too. And I feel like it's like not something that's like super like Obvious, it's like a crazy designer or anything, but it's just like, like, oh, what is that? It's so cute. All right, well, that is our last item for the day. I'm going to leave the link again one more time for our giveaway uh, to enter to win that little Hello Kitty chip clip. And thank you guys again so much for such a fun live sale today. I'm so excited. That little webby bag is so cute, and I'm so, so, so happy that Kirsten got her first uh, Loewe bag today, too. Today is, like, one for the book, so I'm really excited. Oh, Deborah's calling number 19. Congratulations, Deborah. Number 19 was our Jimmy Choo. Yay! It's so cute. Love that bag. Congratulations, Deborah. That one's going to you. Okay. Deborah, sorry, I cannot spell. All right. Congratulations, Deborah. 
That Jimmy Choo is gorgeous. The Pikachu. <laughs> I know. Pikachu. The Pikachus. Thank you again, Squishy, if you're watching. I appreciate it. I have to send you a message. It is, Deborah. I'm so glad. Okay, let me see if our... Our YouTube comment picker hasn't been working recently, so I don't know what's up with the website that I was using, but let's see if it's working today. Okay. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. It was so much fun having you guys. She said, I know, it like came so quickly. Okay, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Done! Done, you won! Yay! I would be a hobo bag because I have curves. I love it. Congratulations, Don. You are the winner of our Hello Kitty clip, or chip clip. Congratulations. I know you're going to love it because I know you guys, you and your daughters love Senrio. So I'm very excited. We'll send this over with your wallet. Yay. All right. Well, congratulations, Dawn. And thank you guys, everyone. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. It was so much fun sharing the unboxings with you guys and seeing Anne's unboxing as well. Like, what a surprise. Um, there's going to be a new video tomorrow at 7 a.m. If you guys didn't see today's haul video, check that out. Um... The next live is going to be on Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific time and then Saturday at 10 p.m. I already have them scheduled. So you can turn on notifications if you want. And... The Kuyana you mentioned. Um, which Kuyana was it? Was it the tote bag or was it the... I have a tote and I have another one. Um... Where'd it go? Hold on. Actually, yeah, let me show it. Because I know I have... Right. I have to find it. Where did I put it? Sorry, finding soul. Oh, here it is. Literally right next to me, and I didn't even see it. This is the um, the Kuyana tote that I have. Um, I also have. No, I don't have another one at the moment. This is it. I think for right now. Um, I think I have a makeup bag, but but that's all. I don't remember. Maybe it did. Um, but I have this tote. This black leather top handle, cross body strap. It has silver hardware. And then interior is unlined. It's suede on the inside. There's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket underneath. But here, this is our little Kuyana tote bag. Here it is, cross body. The strap isn't um, adjustable. So this is just the length that the strap is as a cross body. So it sits... The top of the bag hits a little bit above my hip. And for reference, I'm like 5'7". And yeah. If anyone has any other questions, though, let me know. Um, otherwise, you can definitely send me an email if you're watching this live after the live is already over. Check down below in the description box. Items availability and their pricing will be down there. Mm. Both. Oh, let me do it. Do you know if that, um, the makeup bag sold Batering? Do I still have that? It might have sold, right? I don't think... Oh, no, I think it did sell. Um, and then... I think the other one you have, so I don't have it with me right now. Right? Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Fighting Solace. Um, I might have another one coming up, like, probably on the Thursday sale. Um, it's a little flat bag. It doesn't have any hardware on it, I think, other than the hardware for the strap. So I will show that on Thursday. 
um, at the 8 p.m. sale. I just don't have it now because Daydream has it. But that is it for today, you guys. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you all um, in the next video. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for hanging out. Finding Solace and Kathleen, DG House, Deborah, Kirsten, uh, Karen, Marion, Tofo, Don, uh, Dorothy, Pauline. Um, and if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. But I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Adios.